Well, little steps can make a big impact, and that's true with a lot of things, including the quality of the air we breathe. There's a great local campaign that targets ground level ozone, the concerns surrounding it, and the little things we can all do to improve, improve air quality here at home. Yeah, and joining us are Sue Cutsforth and Greg Yule to tell us a little bit more about this. Good Hi, to see welcome. you guys. Good to see you too. Thanks well, this for is called, little, no, thanks for being here. This is called Little Steps Big Impact. What is that campaign? What does it mean? So we know that air is very important. It's something we take for granted. You can't see it, but of course we all need it to survive. And we have an air quality challenge in the metro area. A lot of people don't realize that uh, those ground level ozone levels on certain days, particularly on the really hot days of summer, can get high. And that puts us at risk where it's, it's not healthy for people to breathe the air. And also it puts us at risk with air quality standards. So the Little Steps Big Impact Program is a project to try and raise awareness about this and then to tell people about the little things that they can do to help keep the air clean. And how are you educating the public? Well, we have obviously a media campaign and we want to thank KMTV for being a mm -hmm. media partner with us. So we have a 30 second commercial that airs. We have billboards on uh, I-80 that are between 72nd and 84th streets, uh, which show the daily uh, air quality forecast and the level we're at for the day. Um, we also have um, posts that we put to Facebook, our, our Little Steps Big Impact Facebook page and our Twitter feed when the air quality is below good. Um, most of the time that's in the moderate range yeah. when we see that. Um, yeah, this education aspect, and that was the spot that we were looking at right there that was um, on the screen. The education aspect is so important. Uh, how has the air quality changed over the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years, and, and why is that education component uh, so critical to what you're doing? Well, our population's been growing, so as we have more people here, there's more cars, more emissions that go into the air. Mm -hmm. So it, it depends on the year. A lot of it is driven by the weather, so we've had good years and bad years. But also we've had the air quality standards have gotten tighter. And so those have come closer to where our air quality levels are. So for instance, there's 70 parts per billion is now the, the standard for ozone. And we're right in the mid 60s. So mm. we're just a, a, getting pretty close to that, that limit. So that's why we're trying to work proactively to make sure that we stay within those guidelines. That's really important for our economy. And also it indicates how healthy the air is for us to breathe. So what is the role of the Metropolitan Area Planning? Uh, so MAPA, Metropolitan Area Planning Agency, we work with cities and counties throughout the metropolitan area. We work with transportation planning. We also assist the cities and counties with community economic development. And since air is something that doesn't stop at the county lines or doesn't even stop at the state line, uh, MAPA has been tasked with leading this project to, to re educate the public about air quality yeah. in the region. It's funny when you talk about this whole topic on air quality. I remember when I was a kid in the 80s, you know, we thought of LA as the smog capital. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's where I learned what smog was. Ah, it's just something that they have in LA, right? Mm -hmm. But as these cities have continued to, to grow, uh, like you said, Omaha is kind of nearing, getting on the, the, the upper end of that. Mm -hmm. But in the summer months, it's a little bit different though. And that's why it's especially important to reach out to the community these summer months. What, what do you that's have right. planned for the rest of the summer and why mm -hmm. is this summer so different? Yeah. Well, our media campaign will, of course, continue. Um, we have been at different Earth Day fairs and events, public events. We have, um, we partner with Live Well Omaha on the Commuter Challenge as a way to promote using uh, other forms of transportation, such as walking, biking, taking the bus, or carpooling, yeah. instead of driving by yourself in your mm -hmm. car. Um, and we also work with Omaha Bikes to uh, promote bike valets in the area uh, for some of the big events, like the one we just finished was with the College World yeah, Series. Yeah, the College World Series. I saw people on some of the bikes in the Yeah, area. they had a really good turnout. It was impressive. And then we'll be like, that will also be like at the Maha Festival and mm -hmm. things of that nature. Sure. So if people want to help out, <clears throat> excuse me, and make a difference, uh, what can they do? Where can they learn more information about how to do that? Mm -hmm. Well, go to our website, littlestepsbigimpact.com. And that'll tell you everything that you need to know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's really important on the days, especially on those hot summer days, yeah. that we all work together. You can take a little step, but it's something we can all do. So we encourage people to wait to mow to the cooler hours, try and drive less. Um, make sure you uh, don't, when you fill up at the tank, you're actually supposed to stop when it, when it stops and not uh, top it off. It's oh, one of the true. good things Ooh, you right, can right. do. Yeah, and then the, why, why is that? Well, what, is actually, it release? The, the engines are actually made to, to stop at that point and then they yeah. work better. And if you fill it up a little bit further, then you get more emissions that come out. So when you're oh. pumping your gas and you put the automatic thing on and when it stops, 
Stop just right stop. there. Don't, don't try to squeeze don't more Don't round in. to the nearest dollar. That's like right. I do. That's, right. That's, That's what I do. I do. I'm a rounder. I'm That's stopping right. today. Um, so, yeah, well, KMTV here, we're, we're uh, excited to be partnering with MAPA right now for these hydrant parties. Uh, why is it that the hydrant parties are something that you were interested in? Well, it's in a, a way to get a message to the audience about just how important it is to keep our air clean and, and um, the benefits of of clean air as far as being outdoors and mm -hmm. being able to enjoy that without having to worry mm -hmm. about whether you know children with asthma can breathe freely or not it's yeah. just a great way to get the message across well thank you for partnering yeah, with us on you. this uh, noon fun. yeah these are today's hydrant parties uh, the one at Common Ground, there's the one on uh, 197th and Woolworth, and then Atwood Avenue. Uh, so it's noon, 1.30 and 3 o'clock. So thanks for your partnership on that as well. Uh, and, and thanks for educating the community, because mm -hmm. like you said, Omaha has really changed in the last 20, 30 years. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's really important for seniors, for children, and for folks with respiratory issues. So that yeah. affects a lot of people. Sure. Folks like us might be able to breathe no problem, but on those uh, high pollution days, we want to all take a little step to have a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We appreciate <laughs> okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,